Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to hang out in between videos. Come check out the Discord. We're also doing exclusive content over on Patreon. We're in the middle of the second world. We're doing Mamamoo TV season four right now, as well as Strong Girl Do Bong Soon. And um, this week, Young Street with Wendy. Um, today though, we are getting into our next album from Red Velvet, or specifically, Solgi with 28 Reasons. Um, so this one, I've actually heard the title track, um, 28 Reasons, before on Spotify. Um, a couple, like a year or so ago, when it was just coming out, um, didn't know who Solgi was, didn't know anything about Red Vel Velvet at the time, and I definitely haven't seen the MV or any of the choreo, etc., etc. So we're going to kind of go through our normal um, reaction process for this one, but I have heard the song. All right, so let's go. All right, so also to start off, we have a official album trailer that we're gonna watch that will set up the story of the album, I believe. So yeah, let's check it out. Ooh. Clipping her nails by the swimming pool and whistling and reminiscing what happened in the past. Oh, is this a revenge thriller for people who bullied her kind of deal? Oh, look at actress Solgi go. Oh, wow. We've got like full on action movie Solgi. Holy crap. I am now like a hundred percent more curious as to what's going on in that MV, man. That was a little terrifying. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I was told I absolutely needed to watch the trailer for this one. I see why. It's a full-on freaking movie, kinda, and really sets the vibe going into this one. I'm so curious now what this MV is gonna be like. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so we're in the middle of nowhere on a mattress. Hmm. I kiss your brother. Can my mom chop? Don't keep pleasure. Don't want to kill my pleasure. Take a good and bench. Don't lean on the pit. Good on our bone and get chan. Jamie so okay. Ooh, I'm breaking every rule. Take a man, get a pig or sheep and go. Ooh, that grit. I'm making every rule.
Hmm. Ooh, that kind of like you pop and lock in there. But it's okay. You grow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm seeing double. Sogi in her bad girl era. Oh, good and people are not clearly distinguished. Good and evil coexist with within one person, even if one seems good. Greed and temptation always exist together inside. We simply try to resist from being captivated by evil. Okay. Sulgi and 28 Reasons. So, oh. Okay. Um, so we're going to watch that again with captions on in a second. But the both the ending bit there with the text crawl and um, some of the imagery that we were seeing of her chaining herself or... Um, interacting with a second version of herself indicated, right, like already that this song was about dealing with inner demons um, to an extent, right? I'm not sure where some of the stuff came up from the trailer, like where the other girls were circling her or with the kind of gun motif, army sniper kind of motif that felt like we were getting a little bit in the trailer but it seems a little less like it's about revenge, which uh, I kind of had guessed in the trailer and more about struggling with the inner demons that cause us to do um, bad things on a, on a regular basis. So, oh, and this, I must, it's almost two years then that it, uh, this came out because I I'm I think I heard this around the time I was getting into um, Stray Kids and Twice. So okay, let's look at the lyrics. That's the other thing I don't know any of the lyrics at all, so this will be kind of fresh for me as well. Kind of this desire to mess with somebody. And this like 
transformation back and forth between the black and red and the white is symbolic of like this push and pull between love and hate and good and bad, etc. Yeah, so like what I'm getting from this lyric is that, or these lyrics is that we're getting this sense of she is just tempted by this desire of hers for this person and she's acting on it. Um, and that may not be great for the other person because she's just intending to... Um, play with them as she wants right and like as her desires exist and she, what they're saying is like yeah this one you know all the reasons why you should run from me do you just like the pain of it are you enthralled by me so much that you are here to withstand it you're in danger but it's okay you're an adult you can handle putting yourself into danger if that's what you want um and this isn't like her being evil or toxic. This is her acting as a human, right? Like she's got these temptations like everybody does. And the idea is that, you know, the, just acting on them doesn't always make you evil. It's just you can't get completely wrapped in it. I don't know. I think it's a cool song. Like, it's an interesting concept to say, hey, I'm doing all these things that one would consider bad, but I'm not a bad person. It's just human nature, right? To have all of these things exist inside of us. Um, hmm. Also, the production on this is like really kind of simple, but really catchy and has like a really dark groove to it. It's a cool title track, man. Solgi's fire. I do know, I want to know why 28 though. Was she 28 at the time of releasing this? That seems like it could make sense. Um, but yeah, let's check out the dance practice for this. Because Sulgi's choreo is going to be fire. Mm. Some really intricate hand movements. Ooh, kind of like cocking the gun there in that one move. That was neat. Ooh. Do you 
Mm. The way that the backup dancers end up like creating a symmetry and like a focal line on her is really cool. Like their positions are always set up in such a way that they draw your eye directly to Sogi. Now we're playing with some verticality in there too. Ooh, and the catwalk. You're in danger, but it's okay. You grow now. Oh, and leaving with a throne there. Nice. That court. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. I did not want to do that. Um. Okay. Yeah. So the choreo was like really intricate, and they did a very, very good job of making sure that even through all of the really complicated dance formations and um, intricate hand movements and all that sort of stuff that was going on throughout the movie that your eye was immediately drawn to Solgi at every frame. Um, which is really cool because sometimes like it feels like with a solo performance um, and a lot of dancers that the main artist can get lost in the formation. Um, and Solgi is a fantastic super strong dancer so it was less likely that that was going to happen but the way that they set up the choreo just enhanced that um sense of focus on her even more um yeah though so i think um one of the cooler performances in terms of like hand motions that we've seen from any of the red velvet members like very intricate except for maybe the tutting one with in um is that naughty with irene and Solgi? um i think that might be the only one with even more intricate hand movements than this okay let's check out a music uh comeback stage on m countdown Ooh, going full on horror vibes. Even showing some like video. To really give that like two Solgies kind of uh, feeling. Inside of us, the, everyone is two Solgies. One, you know, that instead of two wolves. Ooh! They're really going all out with the VCR here on this one.
I was wow. Rev Love came out. Oh, and we get fan chants. Love it. That like little syn synchronized leg lift that they had going on there was a really neat move. Sulgi just came out here with some serious boss bitch energy. <laughs> what an ending fairy, too. Um, yeah, that was a great stage. Ugh. Okay, and we're gonna finish up the title track stuff with her 28 Reasons performance video. Hmm. Oh, that's an outfit we haven't seen in any of the other ones yet. I gotta imagine that long braid would be kind of painful to dance with, right? Like whipping it around and hitting yourself with it. It looks dope, though. Like 
Ooh, the camera moves on this one with like um, the crane arm camera probably on this one. Really, really smooth. And get on that throne, queen. Okay. Oof. Fire track, man. Um, yeah, I think I probably could have guessed that um, the song just from the chorus and that start of like, I steal your brother kind of line. Um, that those lines those parts of the song stuck out for me the most when i first heard it but because i didn't really listen to the or read the lyrics i feel like i didn't get a full grasp of the song when i originally heard it this sounds um really nice and it's got like just this cool concept of this push and pull of good and evil inside of each of us um with all that being said Let's check out, oh, maybe I lied a little bit. We have one more stage performance with uh, 28 Reasons. This is a 4K on air stage performance at JTBC. Okay. I kiss your brother, come on, I'm trying. What a cool stage design on this one. It's like Convergence of Worlds kind of vibe to it. I wonder how they do that kind of like staggering effect on her voice when she hits that hot I know live.
That like half glove thing she's got on too is kind of badass. All right, now that I believe is the last 28 reasons uh, video we have for this one. Still a banger. Loved all the live stages. Um, I think the choreo is super, super freaking impressive. All right, let's check out Dead Man Running. Stop it all. Oh, that vibe. Whoever hurts hurt Solgi isn't gonna hurt her again. Cause you a dead man running. With a clap track to get us going. Remind me not to piss off Solgi ever. She's like, you're not dreaming. I'm hunting you down. You got no hope. Whew. That was a cool track. It had almost like a blues rock kind of vibe to it without the instrumental to match to it. It, I, it sounded like, oh, I can't think of it, but the genre that I'm trying to explain, but it, it feels like a, a song of, that fits the theme of what she's going for really, really freaking well. Like, I am coming for you. That production is also coming for you. Just your ears, not your life. Um, but like, it's got that really chunky sounding guitar to it. And it's got this driving or this really heavy bass. Um, and then the clap track and the drums kick in and it like really kind of drives you forward and gives you this sense of like 
chasing almost, right? Like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting, right? Is that Solgi is chasing down whoever did this to her and she's like, y you're not making it out of this. Uh, I'm gonna get you. You're dead already. You're just running still. Um, and it's got some real, some real like I've, I'm feeling myself kind of energy to it. And I love that. This album as a whole has got a very, very different vibe to it than anything I've seen from Red Velvet before. It's very in your face and confident and dark. Um, and it's just a really cool vibe to see from Solgi. All right, next up, let's check out the live performance of this. Oh, we got a audio glitch. Happens sometimes, one second. Well, we're definitely gonna... She's got her whole body into that uh, performance, man. Like, you can feel even just standing at the mic, she is all the way in it. live is stunning. Kill it, Sogi. Whoa, we got a dance break too? Then Zogi. Oh. Uh nope. 
we don't want the full set. Hold on one second. Uh, stand. There we go. We got another dead man running performance here. There's some actual choreo to this one, too. Like, I was fine with the little bit we got from the last one, but... Woo! She is so vibing with this song. So I know that Joy is kind of like the big actress and Yeri has been done Yeri and Irene have done a couple dramas as well has Solgi done one based on the MV and the trailer I feel like she should and the way she gets so immersed in this song before she goes off, man. Ooh. Here comes that dance break. I think that covers it, right? I think this is a new song, so we're gonna stop there. Um, okay. The next one up is going to be Bad Boy Sad Girl featuring Bayo. Uh, however, I'm going to take a quick break while we're filming here. I have some other stuff that I have to take care of. And through the magic of editing, you will see it when we pick up here in a, in a couple of seconds. 